and let's continue. Hello. Can I shoot through here? So I should actually hurt him quite a bit. <laughs> actually, I feel like summoning a skeleton once more. All right. You are Francis the Second, and I hope you're doing better than your predecessor. Because he, he was actually quite a fail. Are you coming? Yes, he's following me. Very good. Very loyal. Good man, this Francis the Second. Unlike his father, who turned out to be quite the traitor. Let's position ourselves over here again. There you go. Have some. Oh, would, you, would you mind? No, not. Don't hit me. No, oh, he's doing. He's doing some damage. Thank you. You did quite a good job, honestly, Francis the Second. I will remember you. Uh. Much, yeah, I, I will, I will have you in much better memory than your predecessor, really. Uh, I should probably drink a bit and eat a bit, a bit more, a bit more. Oh, what time is it? Is it? Let's let's have a look at our magical watch. Oh yeah, it's about time. About time to face our third dragon. Nothing to be had there. Where is your sword? There it is. I'll take it. You don't need it anymore. Not where you're going, and that is hell, Mr. Lizard Man. Two of those little suckers. Surprise! Oh yes, they were quite surprised. They're going to give me a hug. Just to show how surprised they were. Actually, can they climb? I think I remember something. That they can't climb. Well, obviously they can. I just saw one of them. Oh yeah, I got one of them. behind me. Yeah, it's a good spot to be behind me. Just follow me. I'll lead you to your destiny. Which is to die by my hand! He he vanished, yeah, he wasn't interested in me after all. He just wanted to join his companion, which he will in just a second. I just love Ice Block. Thank you so much to all the viewers who, who said, Green Bear, 
Grumia, you're such a fail at this game. You should absolutely get Ice Block. Don't you know anything? And I said, okay, please just shut up. I'll get it. Just to, you know? Oh, come on. This is just sad. Nothing there. Where is, where's the sword? Where did you put it? Okay. I somehow have the feeling that <laughs> there, there is a dragon right around the corner. Alright, oh, alright. Oh, uh, let's heal our mana. Uh, we just need a wee bit. Uh, a wee bit more. And the tiniest bit. Okay, um. <coughs> alright. <coughs> uh. Also, another viewer told me that I don't really need to equip the Eye of Inos um, to, to be able to talk to uh, them. I just need to have it in my pocket recharged. So I will try that out just now. So that I can actually use the, uh, you know, I can actually benefit from from the uh, advantages of, of my other amulets. I think I'll stick with the hit points. Yeah, I'll stick with the... Although, Magic Protection 15 might be even better. Yeah, I'll switch to that one. Just for this fight, because he's he's a magical creature, right? He's breathing fire, so that would, should be considered a magical attack. So, at least that's, that's more logic. Um, we save. And we... Summon Francis the Third. Hello, Francis. Let's go in there. You coming, Francis? Oh right, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, before I, before I'm continuing, um, I don't really want uh, to waste any time in game, so I'll just uh, pause the game. Um, First fight against the dragon was the swamp dragon and I showed you there how to basically not do anything and still win against the dragons because the first one is really easy. Um, you have uh, three companions, two even if you don't want to basically, so they can do all the work. So the first dragon was me not doing anything. Um, the second dragon was um, me showing you basically the cowardish way to kill a dragon, uh, which you um, can do with any dragon because um, for any dragon, there will be such, an, uh, such a possibility to just run away, stand at the entrance of their lair and fire um, anything that you have at them, any uh, ranged weapon. Now for the third one, I basically lost Biff, but he would stand down at the, at the mountain somewhere anyway. So um, I don't really have any companions and I don't really want to do the cowardish way again. So this time I will actually try to, you know, do something else to um, engage in a more direct combat. And I brought a minor companion just to distract him. So this is a completely different tactic. Um, and we'll we'll see how that works out. Alright, that's just what I wanted to say. Hello? I simply cannot believe that there are truly still people who will forfeit their lives merely to see a dragon in the flesh. I haven't just come to see you. I rather had something more radical in mind, I'm afraid. You do not mean to say that you wish to challenge me? <laughs> I shall break your scrawny neck. Not so fast, my friend. I carry the Eye of Innes with me. You cannot resist my will. Answer my questions or the agony will be unbearable for you. Ah! Then pose your ridiculous questions while you still can. Your power will not last long. All right, yeah, my power. He, he recognized my power. And what is what is Francis the Third fighting in the background? I hope he didn't he didn't die by now. Uh, all right. Who are you? Oh, my died. name is Fiamathar, <laughs> and that is all you will learn about me. Once I can escape the spell of the eye, you will go up in flames. Oh, the arrogance! The arrogance! This ostentatious behavior of the dragons that is that is so annoying me I mean seriously who are you 
Who are you? Just because you're big and glowing and can spit fire, you think you're anything special? No, you're not the chosen one of any god. You're not. I am. Alright? I am. So, quit all the behavior. Seriously, just stop it. Um. Alright, now that we actually, you know, are uh, so a bit of doubt in his mind about his own power, uh, we will. No, we will ask that in the end. We will go for this uh, one first. Just distract him a little bit. Every dragon has a hoard where he stores his collected treasures. So where's your hoard? In a place that will be inaccessible to you. Once I am finally free of the chains of the eye, I keep my treasure high up on the hot cliffs, which should be all but impossible to reach for a wingless human such as you. All right. Now let's ask the most important question. How to defeat the Empress, the Master Dragon, or maybe Belia himself? No, I guess it's it's a Master Dragon. I didn't want to fight a god. How can I defeat your master? He is almighty and nigh unto invincible. Should you be so foolish as to meet him, nevertheless, you will die a slow and painful death. This isn't the first time I've heard that. Nearly invincible does not mean I cannot kill him. So, out with it. What must I do? In order to oppose my master, you require things which he would never be able to obtain. And what would that be? You must acquire the finest armor known to your earthly community and wear it on your skin. You need a rune which was crafted only for you. But the most difficult condition of all is that you must win five companions who would follow you into death. Then, and only then, can you dare to face the master. Your master doesn't have any friends. That's a bit sad. Oh, I... <coughs> okay. Here we go. The eye has lost its power, and you will not survive the next day. Uh, all right. Let, let him speed fire first. But he doesn't really do that much damage. Stop flying around. Alright, fire doesn't really do much against him, but then again, I kind of expected that. Ice block doesn't seem to affect him at all. Then again, he doesn't really do much damage on me. That's good. No, that actually doesn't do any damage. That's that's a bit weird. All right. Oh boy. Whoa, don't do that. Oh, actually, the hit, where, where's the entrance? Where's, I lost the entrance. I just wanted to go somewhere to heal up, but I can't find the entrance. Oh, where is it? Is he sitting right in front of it? Was the entrance here? Oh yeah, there it is. All right. I'll just hide here, just to uh, heal up very quickly. Oh, uh, where's my, I didn't even equip my healing spell. I'm so ill prepared. Oh, eight. Heal medium runes. Ooh, that's actually quite effective. Um, now let's drink another potion. A blue one. Small blue one. Uh, hello? Alright. Uh, let's get a new skeleton. Trevor! Let's just call him Trevor. Trevor, please follow me. Hope you do better than the others. Well, your predecessor did quite fine, so that, that's quite some bit, big footsteps that you need to get into. So, uh, uh, wait. Uh, also, I noticed that I didn't really equip my large fireball, did I? Apparently I did. Fireball? Where is it? It's on five. It's on five, you silly bugger. Hello, we returned. Trevor, hit him! 